We're going to Wembley in this episode of Window Seat. Here at Window Seat, we love going to sporting events. And when we travel, we like to find popular local ones to take in. From the 2016 Euro Cup in Paris, to the Grand Sumo Tournament in Osaka. We want to experience it all, which is why during our recent trip to England, we wanted to check out a real football game. Now, we didn't plan right for Premier League games, as this was the international break. However, we were quite lucky that the England national team was facing off against Australia at Wembley Stadium while we were there. Now, here's the really fortunate part. Tickets for the lower bowl for this international friendly at the most famous stadium in the world? $95. Premier League games can be way more expensive than that. And by comparison, the next week back home, we went to a regular season Denver Broncos game against the Green Bay Packers, sat way up top, and paid $100. So this kind of felt like a steal. We are going to Wembley, going to Wembley. Why are we singing? Oh, no. We were super excited to visit the most famous stadium in the world, especially the year it's celebrating its 100 year anniversary. Now, we know this isn't the original Wembley, the one that hosted the 1948 Olympics, the 1966 World Cup, Live Aid in 1985. That one was torn down in 2003. This one was built in the exact same spot and opened in 2007, hosting the 2012 Olympics and numerous other concerts and events. Now to get to Wembley from central London, it's about 45 minutes by two. You can take it right up to Wembley Park. We printed out our tickets in advance. Yes, that's actually a requirement. Unfortunately though, we couldn't get a match day tour. Look very early if you want to do that. They book up fast. Over. It's not the best. No, it's not. We eat too quick. So we're follow the signs for the blue zone. That's us. They were looking for England fans. Carrie and I somehow were the first ones they decided to interview. No, I think they had interviewed someone else. Or they definitely picked us out of the crowd. The one thing we didn't plan for is the downpour walking into the game. It took away from being able to enjoy the ambiance of the street in Wembley Park and cost 10 pounds to get ponchos. Yeah, it was raining that hard. Once inside, things improved a lot. There were fans getting psyched up, tributes to Wembley events passed, although the food and drink selection was minimal, clearly you're here for the sport. And like many European stadiums, you can't bring alcohol to your seat. I'm okay with that. I just wish there was some better food here. Yeah, I had a pretzel. That was actually not that bad after I bought kale popcorn. Which does create the remnants of a party on the concourse. At the seats, it's wonderful. The roof covers the stands, so we're not getting rained on. It's fun. Um, stadium's awesome. Glad it stopped raining. Well, we got to wear these really cool ponchos, though. Yeah, and Sean, is, you're still voluntarily wearing your shirt, which I'm not sure what. It's a, it's, a, it's a fashion statement. It is, it is a statement. I bought this poncho, so I'm going to get my money's worth. The stadium is beautiful. Clearly one of the nicer stadiums you'll ever see. The pop and circumstance before the game is very cool, given it's a friendly. Not as raucous of a crowd as a UEFA League game. Although there were these guys. And since it's the Socceroos first trip to Wembley as well, definitely a lot of passionate Aussies in attendance. The second largest stadium in Europe did live up to expectation. The football itself? I want to see goals. Is it everything you hope to see? I want to see goals. I know, it is kind of like, I'm actually, I don't know if they're playing well. Please welcome back to the second ball, England! Not the highest scoring affair. We did see one goal. Wow, 
However, I wasn't rolling on that. That was a cold and wet soccer yeah. game. Or a football game. But it was fun. Was we got to see a goal. But so much fun. Now, we didn't stay until the end. Shame us all you want. We maybe should have left sooner. I know. Hopefully, get on the tube. We'll get on, it's just a matter of when. We still had a great experience. We thought we left early enough. This is a mess. I'm choosing not to. And Carrie is choosing not to, not to participate because she thinks it's an even bigger mess. <laughs> Yay! But clearly, we weren't the only ones wanting a less crowded tube ride back to central London, celebrating a 1 0 Three Lions win. Yay, England! That's it for this episode of Window Seat. If you have any suggestions for Wembley or other international stadiums, please leave them in the comments below. And do us a favor, please like and share this video and subscribe so we can continue to share our journey trying to see every country in the world. See you next time.